All physical matter in the universe is actually a form of energy that's made up of atoms. And those atoms are cycling or vibrating at a certain frequency. Practicing vibravision gives us the ability to access our sensors and to perceive those vibrations and then convert it into a usable mental image we call mind sight. Red, red yellow, blue, yellow, orange, blue, green. Yeah. <laughs> we can see the unseen to do things that are thought of as impossible. Eight of clubs, ten of diamonds, five of hearts. One, two, three. At MPUSA, folks of all ages demonstrate these incredible skills inside the academy and out in the real world. How about the grilled chicken and sausage gumbo? Gumbo. Nice How much does it cost again? To $29.98. Correct. And Colton, what were you just touching? These are fan boxes. All right. What color is that? That's blue. Let's find the Lay's brand. Old Spice Body Wash. Very good. When we perform PK or any other mind over matter exercise, our consciousness switches the brain from linear functioning, firing randomly in different areas, to 100% capacity, whereby the brain functions as a whole. Anyone can do this. PK is short for psychokinesis. It is the ability to move a physical object without physical contact. It is your intent that is interacting with the physical object that is getting it to respond. But the minute you let go of the result is when you get the result. Where you place your awareness is where energy goes. Mm. That's basically all we're doing here with the psychokinesis experiment. We're going to produce movement by using our mind in a certain way. You see it right in front of your eyes. If you're too tense, it stops moving. When you relax, it starts moving again. Mm. If you don't give it enough time, it doesn't work. If you let go, it works. And so at this point, we can lift up your container. And you'll want to do this very slowly, because when you do it too quickly, it knocks off the tin foil from the needle. And then you'll want to just put your hands on the glass on either side of the object. Eventually, it'll start responding to your breathing pattern and to the level of relaxation in your mind. <laughs> is it working? That is so cool to watch. Yeah, I mean, it was totally still. It's moving. Rachel will now attempt to place two objects inside the glass container and see if she could perhaps influence one object and not the other. I was wondering if I am here, if I'll have more ability. Sure, keep going, because the other one Look, just started working. going. <laughs> there you go. There you go. The photons that are bouncing off of the object are going in through my eyes, the rods and cones producing an electrical signal that goes to the back of my brain, which reconstructs an image. So what I'm really looking at when I look at the piece of paper or tinfoil or a toothpick, whatever it is I'm moving, I'm looking at my own mind. If we were truly separate from each other, there's no way we'd be able to do PK because of the inherent separateness. But if we can dissolve that sense that we're separate from everything and increase the sense that we're already one, then that makes PK possible. Of course it's possible, because when I'm moving an object, I'm moving my own mind.